How big is a 5,000 item per hour sugarcane farm? That's enough to fill both these chests every hour. And I think it's a bit bigger than this. So today, I'm going to try and figure out how big I need to build one, while also trying to keep it as small as possible. So this is your standard sugarcane farm. They're all over YouTube with tons of tutorials. But how fast is it? Well, I'm going to speed up time for one hour, and we're going to find out. Thanks to Carpet Mod, one hour passed pretty quickly. Let's see. 33. We got 33 in one hour. We have a lot of work to do. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that design. I'm going to go with the Tango Tech design. It's much more efficient and more compact. Now with this design, instead of having the observers up here, we place them here. And they'll be seeing the sugar can there. And then we just need to complete it with another row on top. Okay, we've got all three rows in. Now we just need to add all the pistons. Oops, I put in too many. These don't need pistons at all. So we'll just fill them with some more deep slate. Now we just need to place in our glass so we can put water in. To extend this water stream, we just need to put some ice and a pressure plate, and then we can continue. All right, with all that done, we're almost done. We just need to put in our last observers. They can see the age of the sugar cane, which causes them to constantly update and push the pistons. Now we need to just add in some more redstone. Now the most important part, how to get our items. So I think I'll just put a water stream down here, bring it across so that we meet up over here and collect all our items. I forgot to put iron bars. This helps prevent the items flying to the other side and landing on the dirt so they don't get picked up. With that done, we can wait another hour. But instead of a chest this time, I'm gonna use a wall block. And we're going to use carpet mods counter so we can actually see how fast it will work. Let's see how much we got. The carpet says we spent since a little over 60 minutes and we get 281 per hour. That is nowhere near 5,000. So I've added two extra rows on the left and right. But I'm thinking that we need to add more before we even test it again. So we're going to extend it out the back. It's getting quite big now. I don't know who has the room for this in their base, but I'll be honest, I kind of want to meet them. Besides that, I think we need to go a bit bigger before we even test this again. So we have to go up, which means we just have to build it up vertically, which is really easy with Tango's design. Once we place the dirt down like this, we just put a piston on top of the redstone and then continue with our observers like that. And we're done pretty much. Easy. While I'm building the big farm, this is still running. So comment down below how much you think will be in the chest by the end of the video. Is this enough? Well, let's give it a test. It's been a little over an hour. Let's see how much we got. According to this, we got 988 per hour. That means we need to build this five times bigger. Why didn't I think about this earlier? We can make a flying machine. So if I remember how to make one, we go like that, and then that, okay. Then we get the observer. Okay, I've got the obsidian in place. Let's see if this works. All right, there we go. Though I think we're a block too high. Since we're a block too high, can I just push this whole thing down? Oh, of course, as I was saying, can I push this whole thing down? Okay, then I can push this one down. There we go, okay. That's that's a start. Hey, there we go. <laughs> I didn't have to reassemble it. Cool. Oh, oh, we have to lower the obsidian. Ah. Okay. And safe home. All right. Now we can just set up the system. Okay, and then we need to do the other one. Okay, now we just need to waterlog a bunch of leaves so we can put the sugar cane in. 
and I'll be doing it in a pattern like knights on a chessboard. I'm a complete doofus, aren't I? I forgot to put the rail in. What is wrong with me? Okay, with that done, we can do the unloader station. So, comparator, porch, and then dust. All right, cool. Now we just need the minecart. All right, now we can do our hour long test. I've noticed the problem. We're losing sugarcane as it gets thrown off by the slime blocks. Uh, yeah. All what I've got in my inventory right now is all the stuff we've lost. This definitely is hurting our rates. Now, how do we fix this? Well, we could make two flying machines with shields on them with the glass. That's done, I hope. Let's see. There's number one and number two. They shouldn't throw sugarcane far now. Okay, so for home. All right. Eighty-one minutes and one thousand seven hundred. I just realised I did this wrong. The water should be level with the sugar cane. My two brain cells are not working together today. All right, that fix didn't really change anything. So the next time you guys see me, we're going to have the five thousand item farm. Well, I do not want to place another piston for like two weeks. That was rough. Um, okay, so instead of using the counter this time, we're going to go full in. I'm going to place down two chests and it should be able to fill one and a half of them. No problem. So if I place a chest there, and then replace that one. It, these, this bottom chest should be full and this top one should be half. Taking into account also the hopper's inventory. Okay, time's up. This guy's been annoying me. This is full. Oh, we're getting there pretty close. And, oh, okay, so that's almost 27 stacks. Pretty much 25 stacks, you know. Uh, well, it's heading onto that way. And then this is getting full. Look how fast it's going up. I would say this is 5,000 items per hour. So how big is a 5,000 item sugarcane farm? Well, you need 37 stacks of pistons and it's that big. How much sugarcane did this farm produce in the time that I built that? Nine and a half stacks. I did do a count and 50, 67 minutes and we're well over 5,000 that probably drop a bit, but yeah, I don't, I don't even need to fin fix this level and we're hitting 5,000 Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I don't know what crazy idea I'll come up with next